A new plan is designed to bring together two of the area's largest employers, the city of Dayton and Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. New at 6 o'clock, Jordan Burgess gives us the impact. To get to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base from Dayton takes less than 10 minutes. City staff members know they've made the drive, but leaders hope in the future that's the only distance separating the base from the city. We're hoping that in 20 years people look back and say that uh, the relationship between the base and the city is still strong. Uh, you know, people have moved into the city, jobs have come into the city. That's the idea behind the 17 recommendations made by a city task force on ways Dayton can tighten its bond with the base to the benefit of both. Something those who have been at Wright Pat think is long overdue. My whole career, I always used to think that the community just doesn't learn how, has not learned how to take care of the, of the base and how to take advantage of it of all the tremendous research and all the people out there. The recommendations include everything from more meetings with base leaders to street improvements to encouraging base employees to live in Dayton. The moves are less about reaching for the sky as they are staying grounded. I view the plan as, as sort of the blocking and tackling. There are no major uh, uh, silver bullets here. It's just good, solid practices the way I look at it. But leaders think the plan will still fly. One of the most immediate impacts may be the city's effort to increase the number of businesses certified as hub zone companies from 20 to 100. Basically, the companies get preferences when it comes to getting base contracts. I think it's a real competitive advantage that most of the city is in a hub zone, that we communicate that message to the local companies. Officials also think the recommendations could lead to a tech town boom because businesses there deal with the cutting-edge technology used by the base. The strategic plan for strengthening the relationship between the base and the city, I hope, is going to lay the groundwork for Tech Town to grow and other things like Tech Town to grow. City commissioners passed a resolution this morning adopting the plan. Now it's a matter of steering those recommendations forward. Some are tougher, some are more long-term than others, but I don't think any are impossible. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.